Hey guys, uh, sorry for the quality of this video again. I'm still on my laptop and I haven't found my memory card for my Nikon. But I really wanted to show you this Reebok 10K that I strung up. I'm super excited about it and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, so I'll give you a little backstory on it. Um, basically, I strung this head for someone who is kind of like a beginner lacrosse player, just likes to have a little fun with it, play a little house league fun, you know. Um, so I just decided to go to town. Basically, he wanted traditional, any kind pretty much that I wanted. He just said, make it snazzy and interesting. So I was like, okay, sweet. I love when that happens. Um, so he said the only thing that the, it would have to be Toronto Argos colors. Um, if you're American, you probably don't know what the Toronto Argos are or the CFL. The CFL is Canadian Football League. It's like a tiny, tiny NFL. And um, he's a huge fan of the Toronto Argos, so I thought I'd do it Argos colors, which is like a double blue and a gray and a white. So here's the head itself. Um, I haven't had time to actually pound the pocket yet, so it's a little, it's a little off. But um, yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, I've never actually strung a 10K with traditional, and right off the bat, I was like what am I supposed to do with these like what is that but it's okay I figured it out um basically as you can see here um if you don't know how to do this I will tell you how um it's kind of just doing a top string like so but with nothing there so the leathers were able to hook through that top string right there um yeah, I think that gave it a little more color, a little more pop. Um, I did the two blue on the outside and the four in the middle there. Um, and then from there, just hooked the leathers through and away we went. So, yeah, that was the first challenge I had with this head. Um, other than that, it went really smoothly. Like, I was really impressed. So, um, there's a shot of the, uh, the coil on the top string. Um, obviously, like, an O-channel pocket because why not, right? And a nice bed at the end um so that's like the middle runway and then continuing from like a throne kind of pockety sort of deal um on the uh the last portion here i wanted to incorporate a kind of all three of the colors together so i don't really know what i did here just decided to do it um it's kind of just like like the interlocking for a pita like up and around um but with the three so the three at a time, I don't know, there, maybe you can see better, like down there. I think um, it did, it makes it pop a little more, brings out the white, um, which I only use there pretty much. So yeah, there's a good look at it. Also, one other thing that I did was um, just here, down here, kind of just making that extra like little interlock kind of like holdy thing there that I also did here but with here I used the gray and the white and to get it over there I used this coil so there's two of these um it kind of got lost in the shuffle but yeah I think it turned out really well um pocket wise you wanted kind of a bag so you could just play around so there is his bag Obviously, I have not put any shooters in, um, or I haven't even pounded out the pocket. I was just really excited, and I wanted to show you guys. So there's another view of that, and that, and bam. So it's kind of baggy, but that's what he wanted. Um, once I get some shooters in here, it'll have more definition, but um, yeah, really proud of it. Love the way it went. Um, love the colors. Um, haven't used a 10K before, but, I don't know, I wish him luck with it, he's not playing, like, a super competitive game, so, it should be fine. Um, thank you for watching, um, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe, that'd uh, be amazing. Um, I'm also going to try to put up, kind of, like, a closer video, because the quality of this won't be that good, so maybe I'll use my iPhone camera to get, kind of, like, closer, closer shots of it, if you'd be interested in that. And next week, I think I'm going to do a woody sidewall tutorial, Ooh, which is something I've never done before. 
um, tutorial wise. I started doing it this week, but I don't want to release a tutorial that's like shitty quality because I don't think you'll learn anything from it. I'm kind of a perfectionist that way. If I don't think it's good enough, then it's not being out. Like, it's not going to be released. But I'm working on it. It'll be done. I just want to make sure, since I've never done a tutorial, that it's good. So hopefully that'll be out. Well, it will be out by next week. Probably Tuesday, Wednesday, around there. Um, if you guys want to check out my Instagram, it's at lacrossemyheart. Um, for those of you who have tryouts this week, good luck. Or games, good luck. And that's about it. See you next week. Bye.